Hi, it's Jen again, and Rick of the King Cousin King family, Richie King. King King's King. Today we are making key lime pie. Why key lime pie? I don't know. It's in the King family cookbook. It is cookbook. in the King family cookbook, but I picked it because it's one of your favorites. It is. Key lime pie is wonderful, and maybe you can make it for my birthday next month. Well, that was another reason, because you mentioned it in our last video. So I was like, well, if we make this, then we can just celebrate his birthday a month in advance. And it's the only dessert at, uh, it's my favorite, Chili John's Chili in Burbank. John's. I mean, I don't know if that's lemon or whatever they call it, but they have one dessert and it's kind of a lemony key lime pie, period. And that's what you do with chili. So good and refreshing. Not that we're doing chili. Uh, no, but we are doing key lime pie. So let's get this party started. Uh, the crust, by the way, this is from the kitchen of Lorette. Kitty Lorette, um, and it calls for the crust. One and a half cups Conkling. Can I say a little something? Please. Lorette's family, the Conklings, are the only people, the only people, the only family members that lived back east when my family, the, well, we were the Azevedos at the time, uh, lived back east. They lived in Bronxville. Uh, Jim Conkling was like the head of CBS and Columbia Records. And we lived in New Jersey, and that's when my father died when I was about, what was it? Five. Five, five and a half years old. And uh, luckily for us, they moved down a couple of years after we did and came back out to California. Mm -hmm. But that's Lorette. She was born in California, though, but her older siblings were born back east in Bronxville. Candy just told me, because I can't remember why it came up, but I was, I, oh, I posted a picture of my grandma Lala and their dad Sid and, and dad and Lex at the piano. And Candy said that the first time she ever saw her father cry was at your dad's funeral. Yeah. So, and somebody she kept was a eight. picture on their nightstand. Was it Donna? Where did I hear that? I don't know. Kept a picture of him. But, aww. But because of that, in a weird way, we all moved back to California and there wouldn't be a King family cookbook. There <laughs> Because that's that's what matters. There would have been no King family. There wouldn't have been a King Sisters or a King family probably had no. we had he not died and we moved back. Well the King Sisters happened before that, but their whole second big career would never have happened. You mid guys mid late fifties into the till the yeah. mid seventies. Anyway, um Back to key lime pie, we've got one and a quarter cups crushed graham cracker crumbs in here. Um, it calls for one quarter cup brown sugar, which I've already measured out, and we've got one third cup butter melting in the back here, which Dad is so kindly going to grab for us. When it melts. It's not melted? No. We're close. I put it on low, 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 so it wouldn't burn while we were yakking. You want a sprinkle or a wooden spoon? Do you want a spurtle? Has anyone ever heard of a spurtle? <laughs> yeah, I think we went through this already in one of these. I gave it to them for Christmas. He wanted a spurtle for Christmas. I had never heard of one. It looks like a mini cricket bat, doesn't it? <laughs> for the kitchen. Straining spurtle. That's the straining. This doesn't work. I need something with rounded. I need help. Mix it in this brown sugar so this crust will be amazing, phenomenal, delicious. You know, I was looking at some of those Food Channel shows. Yeah. They got nothing on us. Nothing! We're so much more fun. And they edit out all their mistakes. Whereas, you get to learn from ours. Can okay. I just show you something? You don't think it's a left hand, a right handed world? Once again, I can't do that. Can't pour it with nope. your left hand? Labels. Hands. Labels are all backwards, scissors don't work, and of course, firearms in the army shoots across your eyes. So I have to do this right-handed, and my right arm is on my body to do nothing other than to make me not look silly when I walk. I can't use it for anything. Look how good you're doing. Well, I broke my right hand twice, too, so. Uh, playing football? No, helping Lex break one of his, well, that's the word, train one of his horses. And that horse broke the reins, and so I couldn't control it, and I went down on the ground and it broke my finger. There's a wonderful story. Full cast. Full cast for a broken finger. Spiral fracture all the way up my, whatever this one is, index? Your no. pointer. Pointer. That's what I always call it. 
Then, just before the cast is going to come off, Lex and I buy this property, which we have kept it, we'd be rich, in Hidden Hills, California. Which is now like Calabasas, like and, uh, I bought where the one, pretty people live. I bought 1.3 acres, he bought 1.8. We owned the two big flat areas that go, we owned the whole mountain down to the next road. We were going to have horses. Oh, no, I got the cast off. The day after I got the cast off, we signed the deal. I grabbed him from behind and said, Lex, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was pulling my hands off so I wouldn't do it. And I went, don't, don't, snap. So the whole hand, full cast for just a broken finger for another gross, six weeks. Gross, gross. All the bones we ever broke, and then I broke his leg. Leg. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> just let him think it. Yeah. Let him think it. I'll let Lex think it. There we go. All right, so our crust is deliciously beautiful. All of our brown sugar is mixed in. We're going to pour it into this gorgeous pie plate. Isn't that pretty? Why don't you show them what we discovered? We were meant to be chefs on YouTube, let me just tell you. This is probably 1972, 73. It's after we had the King Family Show. It's after I went into the army and missed the second King Family Show. Well, some Before of I was born. And uh, a couple of years before I got married, we went out on the road again, and we, these are the um, And what programs. was that tour? What did you call that tour? You really want the truth? Yeah. We called it the armpit tours. Just because. Couldn't have been that fun, could it? <laughs> just one nighters. 12 weeks in a bus with your family, which we all love each other, but one nighters. No staying for a week and flying in and everything. And lo and behold, we see down home recipes from Grandma King's personal file. Food fit for a king. I mean, we're going to have to make some of these, I think. Because we know that you want pickled what? Cantaloupe pickles. Cantaloupe pickles. Uh, something like that. Wait, you've got to find it. Yankee baked beans. And? Yankee donuts. Lemon honey cake. Now that sounds... And we may have to try that. A floating island. What's a floating island? Sounds like a fancy drink. One tumbler currant jelly. One pint powdered, powdered sugar. Five eggs. Wow. I don't know what it is. To be eaten with cream. I'm not going to keep going. I'll show them a picture of me in 1974. Uh, you might as well. This actually I was just is a picture that was taken. I did a Redken commercial. Redken, yeah. You I did? Can, I can see their company. Yeah, I was the in, hair care stuff? I was in their uh, uh, it's this catalog. Thing. These are another story she doesn't know. But anyway, this is 1974. This. Are you kidding? Ahoy! Look at Cam and Lex. Nobody knows what it means when you say ahoy. That's an inside thing. Well, it's from... What, what about, about Bob? What about Bob? Um, Should I just leave? No, the reason we're doing this is because you always come out with these stories that were like, I never heard that. You you did a commercial for Redkin. What? And it only happens when we're doing stuff like this. So I figured he needs to be in all of these because then we get all the good stories, right? You are. And you could... What do you call it? You could transcribe them from the video and I don't have to write my life. And you don't have to write your life story. Which and then I'm your grandkids, everybody just gets to hear everything and I don't have to do all of that work and you don't have to do all that work and we get to eat good food. So, all right, here's our pie crust. You know, I'm it's thinking beautiful. this hurdle would be really nice now to get that curve on it, but don't worry. Have at it. Here. Right, here's you, you and your squirtle. I'll start on the filling. Okay. So the filling is four eggs, lightly beaten, one cup sugar. I'm gonna go get that stuff ready while he uses his spurtle. How many eggs? Four eggs. I need to chuck them. Lightly beaten. And then I will get the sugar. One cup sugar goes into this mixture for our key lime pie. While Dad's getting the four eggs, I'm gonna, I was gonna dump this in here, but I'll let you lightly beat the eggs first. One dash of salt. That's why I'm putting them there. You want me to squeeze those? Yeah. Whisk those up lightly, it says, and then I'm going to pour some sugar in there. I'd say that's lightly. There we go. Am I going to continue? Yes. Whoa. <laughs> oh my right. gosh. They may ban us. It looks like the 80s. An eighth of a cup grated lime zest, which Dad so kindly already did for us. There goes that. Um, oh, oh, oh. 
That smells amazing. We went to the store and we bought key lime juice. And this is this is like it's milk. weird looking. Yeah, it's not like you know clear lime juice. It's like he said, it's kind of milky. One eight. So another half of this. Make an omelet maybe out of this. Key lime omelet. Yeah. That sounds delicious. What, what size was that supposed to be? One eight. Okay. Yeah, that's stupid. This calls for a half a cup unsalted butter softened in this. Okay. You see, we've totally oh. planned this out. Right? No, look, look, look. See, you have to read the actual recipe. <laughs> in a double boiler, combine all except butter. It's worked out perfectly. Then we bring the water to a boil and reduce the heat to low, cook whisking constantly until it's thickened. Then we add the butter, cook, still whisking constantly until it melts and is thick. Well, let's get the double boiler going, shall we? So we're gonna throw our crust in the oven, 375 for six to eight minutes. Dad's got our makeshift double boiler going. We'll get the uh, filling on that in just a second. Here's our little makeshift double boiler. Yeah. I just don't big enough to use a double boiler ever. Well, I'm sure we've got two pans that were, I bet they're in the basement, two pans that are meant to do that. I just saw you spill. Uh, I don't spill. Well, you did. Here we go. This guy, right? Yes. The butter in. A whole half a cup and then whisk away until it starts to thicken. All right, we'll come back when it's There's getting nothing, a little thick. Nothing other than this for That's the it. filling? That's it for the filling. Okay. Yeah. We're calling this thickened. That looks Isn't thickened that? to me because it's going to go back into this crust, back into the oven at 300 degrees for another 20 minutes. That's definitely thickened. This is going to be fantastic, however big it is. I'm going to fix that in a second because okay. here we go. All right, there is our key lime put together. Now it goes into the oven at 300 degrees for 20 minutes and then. Oh, that will you burn. You want to lick it That'll so burn bad? My tongue that so would be, bad. Yes, it would. It smells good. It's a cross between key lime pie and curry chicken gravy. Ew. I'm just telling you. The smell? Yeah, just because of the eggs. It's, it's wonderful. I didn't follow you. All right, well, we're going to put it in the oven now. It could be a soup, it could be a curry soup. I'm super grossed out. <laughs> Come here. Or you'd hold the camera. Let me see. Is my sniffer gone in my old age? No, it smells like a Bernays sauce. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit on the heavy side. Okay, here we go. How long? 20 minutes. At? 300 degrees, and then it sits in the fridge for eight hours. Which will be about two. Two hours for us. Okay, cool. so we have waited a whole two hours for our pie. We think it's ready. What is this eight hour stuff? Uh, so we're gonna make the whipped cream to top it and garnish it and make it pretty. What are we doing? We have one cup of whipping cream in there. But well, we know what this does too. Yes, and I'm about to put in some powdered sugar. One third cup of powdered sugar so that it's lightly sweetened. One tablespoon vanilla. One half cup of <laughs> Oh yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Now turn that sucker up, because we need it to whip. Look, I cut little lime garnishes for our key lime pie. Are they key limes? No, these are, these are regular limes. We couldn't, buy, we couldn't get to the floor of the keys right now. This could take some Hi, time. Hi, Chad. We have motion for the second half of the video. I know, my son got home from school. So we're now Skip it's time that to part. make it pretty. Now it's time to make it pretty. And so we're just gonna do a little dollop. What do you think, right here, Dad? Like around the edges? I can't see. Sorry. And then add a little, this whipped cream, by the way, 
She's... That's a thought of your mom. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe you should do it then. Here. Well, I was just going to cover you the whole thing. You dollop. I was going to cover the whole we thing. We could do that too. But I was just doing my pretty little... Yeah, it's just way there. Lemony lime slices. You just want to do this so there's more to eat. Yeah. Here. Want one in the center or no? That's a big slice of lime. Yeah, of course. For this picture, at least. This is beautiful. Look at how pretty our key lime pie We're looks. There it is. Look at our key lime pie. Is that gorgeous? From Lorette Walton Conklin. Yes. Lorette Conklin, who is now a Walton. And we are going to cut into this right now. Because... It's over there. Because we have to. All right. We need a little plate. Here we go. We need a plate and forks. Chad, are you having any? You no, Grandpa. Food? I'm not eating any. This is homemade key lime pie. Well, seeing that we haven't had dinner, let's have dessert. This is dinner? I mean, come on. This is for you, Mr. Babo. And tell the story of why you're saying that. Well, occasionally our family would go to this entre, or what the, no, that's where we worked, a cafeteria later on in life, and I think Bob was never allowed to as a kid. And Bob was your stepdad. stepdad. After my dad died, yeah. And so if you go to a cafeteria, quite often the desserts are the first in the row as you're going around. Rocco wants dessert. So not only would he pick the dessert first, well, which anybody would do as you go around, he would sit down and eat it, and I think it was just rebellion. First. I can... I'm an adult, you can't tell me what to I do. I can eat my pie before my chicken pot pie. There we go. Okay, we're gonna put... Are we gonna taste it and let, we people, are. let people Here. know? Here's yours. Here's mine. Alright. Let's see, here we go. Key lime pie. I'm surprised it's not chilled. <laughs> <laughs> it's still kind of warm. Eight hours? No. And it's not as limey as I thought it would be. No. But like very said, refreshing. It's kind of um, curry oh, key lime pie. It is not. It's actually very good, but it's different. Really egg custardy. Maybe that's what it, it is. is. It's actually very good. It is really good. But I did expect more of a tang. But I think this will be my dinner. I think I'm gonna have another piece. Should you just keep rolling while we feed ourselves through the whole piece? You gotta tell me when to stop. All right, so from the kitchen of Lorette, Hugh King, Kitty Lorette, and the King Family Cookbook, on behalf of me and my dad, thank you for joining us. Like and subscribe, and get the cookbook.